Okay, so the barbell back squat. What you want to try and do here, we've got two variables. We've got either low bar or high bar. Um, it's just, again, per personal preference and where your, where your squat uh, needs to be improved at a certain amount of time. Typically, my squat would stand at the top of my traps so that I'm using both quads, um, glutes, hamstrings, uh, more or less evenly throughout the whole thing. So uh, my feet personally are going to be just wider than the shoulder width apart with my toes out slightly, but everybody's different on this one. Um, and as we drop down into the bottom of the squat, we're going to force the knees outwards slightly just so that we can get into the bottom of that squat and we're using the full range. So we're using adductors, quads, hamstrings, keeping the chest upright, really good position at the bottom with a strong chest, trying to keep that neutral spine and the chin tucked and then it's a nice strong press back up. So to grip the barbell, if you've got some kind of rings on the barbell, then that's what I'd tend to go off. If you haven't, then just try and get comfortable underneath the bar. But first make sure you're even. As you stand underneath the bar, take one step underneath, then the barbell's gonna sit onto the traps, then you can press up into it. This is your starting position. From there then, we wanna try and brace. By bracing, I mean taking a big deep breath in, compress the spine as we press, uh, as we lower ourselves down, Going to keep that chest up, forcing the knees wide slightly, getting into the bottom of the position of the squat and then standing straight back up again, making sure that we, we fully contract our legs and not uh, forcing the chest upright too much. Make sure that when you do get to the top of the press or at the top of the rep, then you're going to lower yourself back down again, but taking enough time out at the top of the rep to make sure the form's good from rep to rep.